it's now time to start harvesting dandelion blossoms and dandelion leaves and also your dandelion roots. Now when you harvest your dandelions, let's see if y'all can see it on my fingers. You see my thumb there? All that yellow? That's on them dandelions, that's the pollen. You don't want to wash that off. You want to put that in your tinctures or let it dry, your blossoms dry them and make a salve with it. You don't want to wash that remedy off, all right? But when you gather your dandelions, you see how many's right here? You don't want to gather all of them. You want to leave some for the bees. Put them in your basket. Make sure you leave ample amount for the bees. This here is in my garden. I ain't got into my garden yet to till it, to plant it. So this time of the year, early spring, is when everything grows in it on its own. I have dandelions that grow in it on its own. I have purple dead nettle. I have penny crests. And I have a whole bunch of hen bit. So this is the time of the early spring where I come into my garden and it looks rough because, you know, them old stems are left over mater plants and everything else is growed up in it, but all the purple is hen bit, most of it, and some of it's purple dead nettle. Now over here in this section, you've got your dandelions, and this is just within this little fence of my garden. This ain't the whole farm. And then I've got a plant over yonder. I'll, I'll go see what that is. And then I've got wild plantain. I mean, I call it wild because it's growing up on its own. I've got all kinds of stuff here in my garden. It don't look like a pretty sight, but to me, it's beautiful because I have all these herbs that are growing on their own and I can come in here and harvest what I need just from within my garden and I can take these and I can make salves and I can make tinctures you know you can make uh, you can make lotions with dandelion you can make all kinds of you know herbal remedies and just the blossoms ain't what all you need too you can use the stems you can use the leaves and the roots Every part of it has its purpose. But when you harvest your dandelions, make sure you leave plenty for the bees. We'll have dandelions covered this whole entire farm near about. And I'll get some more picking here, there, and yonder. I'm only gonna get so much purple dead nettle and uh, hen bit, and then I'm gonna till my garden. And a lot of folks think, you know, well, you're, they call these weeds, they're not weeds. They're Yahua, our creators gift to us they're a barakah to us because these are what give us our healing and our ease from all this other mess that the world has put into us and that we've allowed it to so you know don't look at this and see just a hoo-ha of mess look at this and see a beautiful beautiful early spring herb garden that yako has planted for me and when i till what i don't need back into the ground it's replenishing the ground. It's refertilizing the ground. It's putting them seeds back in the ground to come back again next spring. You know, a lot of people look at tilling your ground as a bad thing. You know, I don't care about that. I, I don't go upon everybody else's emotions and opinions. I dig and I read and I research and I find the truth I met within it. So, you know, this is this is beautiful. Even outside my little fenced-in area, I've got so much penny crest over there. Well, y'all wonder what's penny crest used for? Well, you know, go look it up. Uh, go figure it out for yourself. What's purple dead nettle used for? Purple dead nettle, I'll tell you, I'll give you a little thing that it's used for. It's allergies. It's used for allergies. But that's not it. So, do your own homework and your own research and find out what these can do for you. I'm out here, I'm harvesting, I already harvested some grape hyacinth over yonder in the yard. I'm getting some dandelions. I'm going to pick up some penny crest right here. I'm going to get that tinctured up. I'm going to dry some of this. I'm going to use it for uh, salves and balms and lotions and, and whatnot. So, yeah, you know, do your own research. 
figure out what herb you need in your body and stop looking at everything as a pest or a weed most of what people call a weed that's just what the world's thrown on it and use it as a pest people poison these babies right here just to get rid of them because they make you know that they're popped up in their lawn or their, their yard or whatever they want to call it you don't do that you don't kill the remedies that can help mend and heal you all right shalom from hilltop holly y'all hello yahoo